Today, we will take Minna with the Slash Arcana as the very first one. And as you can see, I have 500 banishes. I modified this value. And the reason is we will only take weapons that can critically strike. Okay, no other weapons, only those. If anything comes along that is not a critically striking weapon, I will just banish it. There we go. Very nice. Well, let's see how, where we are heading. So the character here is actually quite interesting. So as you can see, the weapon becomes... Oh, there's cross. Yeah, the weapon becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And then it will be super duper tiny. And at minute two, it will be double the size of what it would usually be. Unless I don't have this wrong and it's the other way around. Uh, maybe I should actually just watch what happens. So let's banish Rune Tracer here. Um, no, it actually seems to become bigger right now. Okay. Oh, right. So first it increases to, I think, three times its normal size. And then it goes back to the half, I think. That it's just half the normal size. Very, very interesting character. You can make a lot of fun builds with this. Like, this would be a very interesting character to make a Soul Eater only run or so. But yeah, there we go. Ginormous Whip. And the thing is, the whip deals a lot of damage. Like, if it critically strikes, that was a 90, did you see that? And keep in mind, this character starts out with negative 70% might. Actually, yeah, negative 70% might, but every three levels. So, on level 3, 6... No, wait, am I wrong? No, 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 it, it's right. Yeah, every three levels, he gains 10% might. So, right now, we have plus 20% to what it would be. I just have to be careful that I don't die here. Oh, I have to be very careful that I don't die here. Okay, there we go. Skullomaniac, that is one that I'll go for. Now, you might say, Dex, are you stupid? Uh, that you will have less weapons than normal, and you even go for Skullomaniac? Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry, you'll make this work somehow. I actually have no idea, I just hope that it works out. The only reason why I took that now is because I realized we already have the bloody tier, right? So I don't need to evolve it, which means I have a free slot where I don't have to take the Hollow Heart. Now, could you die, please, Mr. Boss? Um, would it be fun to see the sprites of the other enemies that are not changed? I guess it would be fun, but yeah, not, not in this video. Maybe I'll just do one in debug mode. Oh, Clover, very nice. Yeah, maybe I'll do one in debug mode where you can be invulnerable. And that might be the right way to do it. So let's get over here. Not five minutes, the stalker spawns. And I will nuke him with the rosary that is on the stage, but I have to be down there before he spawns. Okay, Empty Tome is ginormous. That is a very good one to get. Empty Tome is by far the best item in the game. There's just nothing that comes even close to it. I guess, okay, Duplicator to some degree can be close to it and definitely can Lapador, but uh, not none of the others, right? Like, in, in regards to power increase, damage output and everything, there's nothing that comes close to it. Torona's box. Oh, that is very good to get. So yeah, this will be another run where we just go for the max amount of curse and just see what happens. And we have Kent Labrador. Very good. So this stage is overall really difficult. Later on, the thing is you get flooded by enemies in such a crazy amount that you don't really know what to do anymore. Like either you can defend yourself or you'll just die. It's that simple. Uh, knife or clover? I'll go for knife here. So the last one that I need here is brazer, right? I have everything else. Yeah, okay, very good. Ooh, there we go. Oh, the why am I taking so... Oh my god, I totally forgot about one thing. Okay, wait. Sh should I go for whip? This character can go for whip. Yeah, I'll just go for whip. I honestly didn't plan for that, but I'll go for whip then. I, I forgot this because you start with an evolved weapon, you can take the base form, it's still in the game. You can't evolve it, it just won't work. Like, even if I get Hollow Heart, it doesn't work. But that is very interesting. So what is the difficult part about this character? As we just noticed, the cooldown reduction also changes, which means it's not reliable that I'll be protected by pretty much anything, you know? I might die any moment. Well, not any moment, but if the enemies become too strong, and I don't have any big armor bonuses, right? I, in fact, I have none. Okay, there's not a Skullomaniac. Maybe it's a bad idea to just go for max out Skullomaniac then. Ah, 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 it's fine. I'll make it work. Okay, there we have... Should I just go for the chest now? I could. Oh my god, wait, I, I never knew that. The knife deals 120 damage as a crit. Wait, 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 what? 
Okay, there's Razor, amazing. Let me check this out. 160! That was from the knife, right? Yeah, there's nothing else I can do that. Because everything else is stationary on top of me. Oh, that's insane. That takes so long to destroy. I think the knife actually slams into the wall and it never ever hits the window. And these windows, by the way, they are simple traps. There's nothing special about them. Eggs, very good. But yeah, there's nothing special about them. So, yeah. Like, did you see that? How they took 300 damage there? That is the point of the windows. Very interesting. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm not really taking a lot of damage, though. I guess the enemies are right now very weak. Yeah. There we go. Oh. There we go. These traps have a lot of HP. So, the way traps work in Vampire Survivors is... Oh, Vento Sacro. I almost forgot about you. <laughs> Good that I have that now. Yeah, the way the traps work is... They have a set amount of HP, and once you destroy them, then the animation goes off and it deals the damage. You know, whatever is given. That is also how the card works on their stage. And... Uh, are there more traps in the game? I don't think so. Like, tra traps that are triggered by dealing damage to it. Not talking about pressure blades. Yeah, I think those are all. Uh, let's go for knife. I kind of want to evolve that. That would be actually really good to evolve. Ooh, I'm actually becoming quite concerned that this might end up in a loss. Like, initially I went in, yeah, easy peasy. Recently we just made a run on the Mad Forest where I only used Vento Sacro. No, not Vento Sacro, the Evolution, Fuvula Fuvulu. And I managed to win only with that weapon, right? So you would expect that I would win. However, the problem here is we have changing stats. And the difficulty is not the time when it's at the maximum. The difficulty is when it's at the minimum and barely attacks anymore. Okay, could you move up a bit? I think this is enough. Let's head down. There we go. Perfect. We won't be bothered by him. Very nice. Oh, it's so tiny. Yeah, at six minutes it will reach the minimum size. And it looks like at six minutes, it also reaches the fastest speed and, and the lowest cooldown. Oh, that is interesting. So the area goes the opposite direction, probably also might. And then, like when area and might is maxed out, then speed and cooldown and duration. I don't know where duration is, we don't care about that here. Um, those are at their minimum, so it's always reversed, it looks like. Like, do you see that, how the knives are becoming slower and slower and slower? The further we progress right now. But the weapons become bigger. But do they deal more damage? Let's take a look at this. So we have the bat here. Um, the whip deals around... Oh, it's actually really hard to see. Mm, how would I notice this? Well, I can kind of see it with the crits, right? So, if I crit for 160 again with the knives, or something like this, um, if they would... One f no! Might is at a minimum right now. So it's only area that is at the maximum in this moment. And everything else seems to be at a minimum. Maybe also duration. That is definitely possible. Um, um, I'm, I'm taking a bit too much damage here. I don't like that. There's a chicken in case I need it. Okay, what do I need to evolve? I should have things very close to evolving. I think at least they're nice. They're like level 5. Oh. Well, now they are level 5. Okay, it will take a bit. That's fine. I'll grab the two chests up here. We don't need that many chests. It's that simple. Clover, thank you. And there we have the other chest, which is Skullomaniac. I'll take it. That's fine. So I think there was another item that I could have went for. Um, I'm actually currently thinking which one that was spinach. Yes, of course, spinach for bonus damage. I could have also went for that one. But, you know, in the end, I think curse is more fun. Right? Okay, the actual reason is I didn't think about that one when I picked up the Skullomaniac. Th that is the reason. It's that simple. Okay. Wow. Wow. So the knife is now dealing 180 instead of the 110. And it's just a rapid fire cannon. It's actually quite hilarious how tiny they become, right? And... Razor... Whip, let's go for whip there. Ooh, farming. Let's head down to the duplicator. It's only one level that I waste by picking it up. As in... 
I only have to put in one more level than I would without it. But I get two more projectiles, which is especially huge for the whips. And I have a double whip right now. Um, it's down there. Wow, that's really far away. But there are so many enemies behind me, I don't want to leave them behind and they despawn. Uh, can Labrador cross? I'll go for the cross. To, to be fair, the enemies are so strong, the cross is probably doing nothing at all. But that's why I need the Heaven Sword. Very, very soon. Okay. And I have to save up all the rewards that I have, since I will need to pick out the Arcana that I want. And if they are both on the final page, on the last page, then that means that I'll fail. I, I can't do anything against that. Okay, over here. There's a duplicator around the corner. Very nice, there we go. Now, should I go back and go to the Rosary? Oh, I'm losing a lot of health. I could go back to the Rosary, for sure. For the Stalker that I think spawns at 10 minutes. Like, if we press escape, we can actually see them on the map, and it's right above me, pretty much. And I kind of totally missed the chest there. How did I not see that? Okay, let's pick up the chest and go to the rosary next to the chest. And once we're done with the stalker, we'll move down to the last rosary for the trickster that appears. Okay, there's the chest. Not a triple chest, sadly. Ah, uh, I would have loved that. And even just a clover, not even a weapon I can evolve. Okay, how how is there now another chest down there? Wait, it's next to the other rosary. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. 400... Did I just see 400 damage? What is my axe doing? My axe is absolutely bonkers. Dude, I want this permanently a thing. With this tiny projectile size. That is amazing. Wait, that is straight up hilarious. Okay, knife, perfect. I just need a little bit more knives, please. Oh, there's a stalker. Do I just want to kill him like this? I could also do that. I'm pretty sure we are strong enough for that. Um... Well, actually, maybe no. They do have quite a lot of HP. If I remember it right, they have 2550 HP. Multiplied with our level. Multiplied with our curse level. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. Very low cooldown, but huge area. Do I just use the Rosary to nuke him? Ah, uh, come on. Let's do it. Rosary. Thank you. And there we have it. The knife is maxed out. Let's get a vacuum over here and let's get this chest. Triple chest, very good. And this is the thousand edge. Very nice. And I would say next up let's just get the curse items. And I think the... Okay, this looks amazing. I think the weapon that I want to have next is the death spiral. Where is... Where are these chests always coming from? Ah, uh, there was a boss that I just killed, right? E I assume so. Uh, there's the, the Arcana. Let's go for that. Okay, so we want bounces. And I'm fine with both bounces. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, this is not the bounces that I really wanted to have here. Right? No, I will not go for this as the first one. Yeah, okay, I, I'm just wasting the rerolls here, I know. But this is the one that I want to have first. Heaven Sword, do I even want to go for that bouncing wise? I mean, it's a lot of fun, right? You have another weapon that bounces around like crazy. But is it worth it? Is it? Or should I maybe go for plus 3 amount? Ah, but that also only applies to the final evolution. The Fubula Fubulu. Right? Yeah, that's also not that good. Is there something else that I could go for? I don't think there is something where I would say, oh yeah, that's super exciting. Yeah, I, I will just go for the bounces. Man, this is really wild. I love this character. It's so... not random, but it's so unusual that you have these insane stat changes. Like, look at my knife, by the way. This is this is a needle missile. Oh my god. Like, it also deals a ton of damage and everything. It's just amazing. Uh, oh, I didn't want to take that. Well, there was an evolution chest wasted. Not that we are really limited on those, so that's not a big deal. Uh, X again. How fast do you think we'll kill the Guardian? I mean, we deal a ton of damage, however, those are Guardians. And Guardians are s quite solid enemies, you know. But, hmm... 
Well, I mean, we only have one good weapon, actually. That deals fast, rapid, high damage. Uh, the, the, the whip is not a good weapon. It's so hilarious whenever you reach a huge area. You just have this, this volley of ginormous knives, and then they bounce around whenever they hit enemies. Oh. Okay, but uh, serious for a moment. I think I want to wait until... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Uh, that's something. Dude, this is amazing with the bouncers. No, we will definitely take the Heaven Sword bouncers. Oh, my God. It will just go to the end of the screen and bounce back. But there will be a double wipe with insane amount of damage. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go over here. And I will trigger them now. Um, actually, I could go for Vento Sacro here. No, let's go for the cross. I want to evolve that ASAP. Cross is right now super useless. I don't even think it has enough damage to kill these when it goes through them. So I will just use the remaining one minute here, half, half a minute, to get as much experience as possible. Since I'm a bit scared that I might end up low on the level curve, uh, the main reason is I haven't played the stage enough that I can properly evaluate this. Okay, there we go. We are about to hit 14 minutes, that means I will head over there. I don't want to max out a cross right now because I want to force an evolution on the Death Spiral. I... I mean, I gotta say, the X is hilarious. You know what I actually want? I don't know if I mentioned this, but I really want to make an infinity weapon out of the X. With the bouncing arcana. Like, I, I'm, I actually feel like I actually talked about... Oh, I do feel like I talked about this. But just in case I didn't, then sorry you hear it again, if I did. Yeah, so Infinity Weapon, where I start with the X, it's super weak in the beginning. Like, way worse than a level 1 X. And then it has an infinite amount of level ups, and it becomes bonkers, right? But the main thing will be that it bounces around like crazy. Like, ju just look at this when the X bounces around. Okay, now it's not as impressive because the X is just bigger and doesn't get spammed anymore. But I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, okay, okay. There they are. Our weapons are right now at the weakest point that they can be pretty much, right? Because we have the least damage bonus, we have the least cooldown bonus, we have the least speed bonus, which doesn't matter to be honest. Uh, but let's see how long it takes to kill these. Ooh, they actually, actually quite strong. Oh, okay, get. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, let's get this and this and oh, this is not good. Could you please, uh, could you please speed up a bit? Come on, just just 40 seconds or so. Trickster's here. Oh no. Can I easily deal with that? Yeah, I don't think he can do anything against me. So I have Vento Sacro maxed out. Oh, that also means I could get the Fuvalu, Fuvalu, Fuvalu thingy. And uh, whip, and Toronto's box, and Toronto's box. The. Ooh, I don't like any of these. Okay. Come on, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. You have to attack a lot faster, please. Like, I really need this here. Please. Ooh, did I did I overestimate myself? I think now it's back to normal. Okay, the wow, the fur wow. Wait, and uh, keep in mind that was like at the worst spot that you could be in. Let's see how long it takes to kill this trickster. Will he actually walk into me? Are you? What? Why would you do that? Yeah, that wow, that wow. And that was not even the max capabilities or whatever you want to call that, where we have the best stats possible. Uh, that's why please. Oh. Oh, right. Fuvula Fuvalu. Is it called? Like, I actually should have checked out the name. Well, let's head over to the other two rings and get their bonuses. The feeling of this being a mistake is crawling in quite significantly. Yeah. I don't... Did I already die? No, I do have a revival. I could also pick up the Tiragisu, but I honestly don't want to walk this far. Ooh, but, um... Oh, yeah, I have to... Oh, no. I have to banish everything else that is in the game now. Right. That's why I hated doing it like this. <laughs> it's kind of funny with the crosses if you focus on them. The moment they become small, uh, slower and slower and slower, it just takes ages for them to get around. Yeah, I really need to evolve them in a death spiral. I mean, it's, it's kind of okay. Yeah. Wow. So I will turn off the damage numbers once we are maxed out in stats. In fact, I 
I will not get any improve. Oh, no, no, no. I will have some evolved weapons that I still need to do. Careful here. Careful. Yeah, I still have to evolve some weapons. Then you can check out the damage numbers if you see something there. If not, then not. I really want to rush over to the rings right now, but I'm super duper slow. The, the reason is at 18 minutes, I'm maxed out again with speed. So that would be a perfect time to do this. But this dude is so slow. Like, insanely slow. Oh. I have a very bad feeling. It feels so weird constantly going from, oh my god, look at how overpowered I am, to, okay, I only have big weapons and that's it. And, and they are damaging me. Help, help, you know. It's a bit weird. Oh, next evolution. Perfect. That dude just got melted. Death Spiral. So hopefully this one will protect me like crazy. If not, I... Oh, wow. Um, that looks hilarious, I gotta say. Oh, this looks absolutely hilarious. You have these teeny tiny Death Spirals getting shot out. Uh, I mean, the cross is also kind of funny. Okay, let's keep walking. It really feels wild to just walk through this and you have this stream of enemies charging at you. That's not something you see every day. But because most of the times, you know, you just walk up and down on Gallo Tower, for example, when you go to the rings and to the arrows, they just spawn on top of you and below you. So you don't have this feeling. But yeah, here you... Am I good? It's... It's actually kind of funny because I could just walk with the death spirals if they have the right speed. But oh, they are the minimum damage, right? So it's actually not that good. And it will just take up the spawn cap. Like, you can't keep going forever with these. Wait, where are the rings? Oh, I, I passed them. Oops. Yeah, you can't keep going with them. I think death spiral has a projectile limit of 20 or 10 or, or 30 or so. I think it was 20 actually. But that means, at that point, you, you can't get any more death spirals. It will just not summon them, which is very bad, if I do have to point that out. Ooh, okay, there we go. Brazer. Oh, I'm missing Brazer, okay. Well, the first one died, the second one died. That was really easy. So let's just pick up the X here. There we go. And let's get the rings here. Thank you, and thank you. Honestly, I would really like to just pick up a random weapon, so I don't have to banish through everything. Should I just get a Laurel? I could honestly just get a Laurel. It doesn't affect anything here, right? I could also go for Clock Lancer, but Clock Lancer kinda affects stuff, but Laurel doesn't. Okay, if Laurel shows up, I will take it. Um, well, okay, can't. So let's banish the magic wand. Let's keep going. There's Laurel. Okay, so this is pretty much how a normal game would have been, since I didn't use up all of the banishes that I had. I gave myself a 500 boost in banishes, and I still have 502 left. That means I would have two left in total. Nice! Wow! Who would have thought? I didn't even need the modding. Well, there we go. This is Heaven Sword. Nice! Dude, it, it, it's just really ridiculous with these tiny weapons. And, but I have to walk around like this here. So where's the Heaven Sword? I want to see its damage right now. Um, I don't see the strikes and the problem is we are losing damage until 21 minutes. At, like, on, at even minute numbers, it's its peak of damage pretty much. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just leave on the damage number so you can check it out. This is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. Like, this is really difficult. Now, if you wonder how did a single weapon win this, and I'm struggling here, well, for starters, the passive effect of this hero makes it really unreliable. But next up, we had the Mr. Smith, right? The Agent Smith, the Grey Ghost. And he gains a ton of stats per level up, as well as luck. Meaning the weapon was just critting all the time, creating these explosions, and there was just nothing that could do anything against me. Oh, there we go, and there we go. To be fair, yeah, the character is just so overpowered, the, the Grey Ghost, that I think I could have went with any weapon and won there. Okay. Wait, but did I? Wait, did I actually go for the Grey Ghost? Or did I go for the lady, the Sia Sunta? I, I don't remember it, it's fine. 
There's the final arcana and there's the weapon bouncing, so let's go with it. I said I want it, it's not optimal, it's not the best one that I could have taken, but it's the most fitting one, the most fun one. Okay, so we are getting to 22 minutes, this will be your chance where you can check out the damage of the Heaven Sword, and after that I'll turn off damage numbers because the flooding of the enemies towards us will become worse and worse and worse, meaning there will be more damage numbers and this will just kill the bitrate on YouTube. Okay, silver ring, there we go. And we are closing in on the 22 minute mark. Do you see the heaven sword somewhere? It's actually really difficult to find. I think I saw 700. 700, yeah, 700, up there, to the top right. 1.1k. 1.1k. I saw, what? Well, I mean, that was amazing. And that was it. Goodbye damage numbers. Okay, do I need one more chest? I don't think I can evolve anything either way. Oh uh, yeah, let's just take the free level up, I guess. Yeah, I mean this game will be a very close one. I feel like, but I'm not convinced. Like, I'm not sure. Uh, the thing is, we still have a little bit more curse for the enemies. But once we get to... Oh, uh, what is it? 28 minutes, I think, is where the big boys start spawning. And I don't have too much information on them, like how much knockback they take, or rather how little, how fast they are, and things like this. There we go, and it's maxed out curse-wise, and now just a laurel. And at this point I kind of don't want to take experience anymore, right? Well, I guess I don't even have to max out a laurel. Yeah, let's just stay here. Okay... Maybe what I should do is, I will speed up the parts where I don't talk, so you can get a good understanding about the struggles. What are they doing? Do they take a huge amount of knockback? Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, that must be the death spiral. Uh oh. Yeah, so what I meant is if I don't talk and just want to skip forward, I would speed it up so you can actually see how difficult it was while I was speeding up. But I don't know now. It's actually... Hmm... I think I have them under control. Rarely they hit me, but the healing is enough that I'm... It's offsetting, right? Yeah, definitely. Why do I actually heal so much? Oh, the... Okay, obviously. The... The... Uh, Fuvula Fuvulu works different than normal weapons, right? Or not normal weapons, the bloody tear. So I get a lot more healing out of this. Wow. I think. I'm pretty sure. But I'm um, right now at max attack speed, nothing really changed. Oh, I froze them. Yeah, but this is the power when we hit even numbers in the minutes. The only problem will be at 29 minutes we will have the big chunky weapons that deal no damage and have no protect. Um, uh, well, also projectile speed, but cooldown. And then I have to survive until it's fast enough that nothing happens to me. You know what, I'll just stay here and I'll shoot to one side so it can bounce back if something walks in. And we'll just wait until 25 minutes. There we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the three-legged lady. Let's kill her with fire. Or worse. Wh whatever, acid, I don't care. I don't want to see that, that looks horrible. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, wow, she's really fast. Well, that was it. Goodbye. That is literally the only downside of this dude. Whenever you get to uneven numbers, it's quite difficult to do this. But aside from that, super easy. 26 minutes incoming. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm glad that we have the fast attacking right now, because I think this could have went downhill very, very quickly. Yeah, look at how far they get in just now. Ooh, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, yeah. I gotta say, I was not a big fan of the werewolf. I, I've gotta be honest. I was not a very big fan of him. I didn't like his ability. It's crazy, it's wild, but it's nothing that is a lot of fun. It can be fun, but nothing that was fun for me. But meanwhile, I gotta say, especially with the crit build, the dude is amazing. The dude... I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. I hate this guy so much. Why? They take... Why? No, 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 no. Uh, Invulnerability. Oh. 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 Well... You know... 
I said it won't have a lot of impact. I guess it has. I guess I lied. I actually didn't think about that. I just wanted to walk over there because when you pick up a chest you get invulnerability. Right. I mean, to be fair, this is what a normal person would do, right? I, I assume, at least. Uh, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, now that I shoot again, look, look at this. Look at all of them dying. Oh, I, I, I don't like this guy. I, I, ah, I like him and I hate him at the same time. I don't know. Or her? Is it a she? It's called Minna, right? You would assume it's a she. But this snowflake effect is amazing. Um, it's fine right now, but I'm getting more and more concerned at 29 minutes. I mean, we have the Crimson Shroud, right? And that should be enough to defend me because I have... I have only three armor. Oh, that is not enough. That is not enough to heal off the damage that you can take. And the, the, you have to keep in mind, the cooldown will be at the lowest point at 29 minutes. That means healing will be slowed down. That means the recharge rate of the Crimson Shroud will be slowed down. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They move in more and more and more. It's actually... It's okay. I would say, because they take a lot of knockback, let's just pray that the next wave also takes a lot of knockback. Because if not, yeah. Okay, they, they take no knockback at all. They take zero knockback. I'm not healing up. I'm not healing up. Uh, there was a rosary. Uh, chicken. Okay. If I lose now, I'm gonna rage quit. But it's not like I can do anything against that. There's a chest in vulnerability. Why? You will just waste time now. Okay, listen guys. I only need to run until the effect kicks in that I have a ton more cooldown. And this should be able to wipe them out easily. Okay, so um, should we turn on damage numbers for this? Let's do it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Next chest in vulnerability. Luckily no panther chest. Very good. Um, do I have something on the map? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, down there. Down there is a lot of stuff. Healing, healing, healing. Oh my god. I just fully healed. Is that enough? I think I did it. NFT. Let's go. Kill, kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. It's not killing anything. Ooh. Okay. Um. That is the closest. What? What? This is absolutely horrible. Like I gotta be honest. I thought this would be easy peasy, and like super easy. Now keep in mind, I plan to do this without the whip, I plan to do this without the crow a Crimson Shroud, and that is how close it got. I almost lost... Wow. Ooh, okay. Well, there we go. Oh my... Oh, ah. Uh huh? W where's the Reaper? Where's the Reaper? Uh, what's going on? Okay. I gotta be honest, I have no- Oh, he's there! Oh, he can't get stuck on me! Because he has so much curse! Oh, interesting, okay. Very interesting. Well, let's just collect all the experience here to heal up. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know why. But uh, let's do it. There we go, 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 there we go! And which weapon will have the most damage? I will say it's Thousand Edge. I will vote on Thousand Edge, even over the new weapon. That is my vote. Well, let's see if I'm right or if you're right. Because you most certainly thought of a weapon. It's so laggy. That has nothing to do with the damage numbers, by the way, for sure. Why do I not take any damage? Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm about to die. I can't believe I just survived this long. Well, there we go. Okay, let's see what did the most damage. And quit. It's uh, Death Spiral. It's... Uh, wow. Wow. Why is it always Death Spiral? I, it, it, it was only there for 12 minutes. 13 minutes.